Hi, I'm Bob Burke, brand manager for Galleon Yachts. I'm here to introduce you to the 325 GTO, a brand new model from Galleon that we're really excited about. We wanted to start on the exterior just to show you the lines of this boat. They are absolutely stunning and they have the DNA of Galleon. I mean, it's unbelievable. You, you immediately look at it and you see Galleon. We're gonna go through all the details on the boat, so uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time here, but I think it's an important uh, aesthetic to, to catch. And uh, I think it's absolutely stunning. And uh, everybody that's seen it has agreed and uh, we're really, really excited about it. So let's go aboard and we'll go through all of the little details on the boat. I think you're gonna be really impressed. So welcome aboard the new Galleon 325 GTO. Um, the first thing you'll notice when you step on the boat is just how open it is and how inviting it feels. It's absolutely stunning. It's, uh, it's a true coupe yacht in a 32-foot package. Um, really unbelievable in the detail. Uh, you, you immediately notice the seats, the stitching, all of the detail, the Galleon logos. The flooring, the lines in the floor are amazing. I'm wearing, uh, I'm in bare feet today. Very, very, very nice uh, on the feet. We're gonna come aboard and go through all the details because I know that's what you wanna see. So you notice first how wide open this area is. You've got platforms that extend past the engines, which is incredible. So if you're jumping off the back of the boat you don't have to worry about hitting a propeller. And you have this full platform, which is very rare to be able to have this kind of space to walk around on the back of a boat, especially a 32 foot outboard boat. So we're really, really pleased with how this came out. And the best part, these seat backs flip so you can really enjoy the social aspects of the back of the boat. We've got some rod holders here so you could do some fishing if you wanted to. It's nice also if you've got people swimming in the water and people hanging out in the cockpit, you can kind of have a, a be in two places at one time. So it's a really, really unique arrangement, a very nice arrangement. And you'll also notice that it feels so open because you've got two entrances, right? You can enter the cockpit from here and you can enter the cockpit from the other side. So it's really giving you uh, a phenomenal uh, space to enjoy boating for what it is, right? Outside, uh, sun, swimming, paddle boarding. This is, this is the place to do it. Um, you might want to know why this, uh, this, how we get, we're able to achieve this with the, with the uh, outboards. And they've got this platform here that lifts up. It allows you to tilt the motors. And it's, uh, it's, it's uh, really nice, simple operation. Tilt your motors up, get them out of the water when you're, when you're away from the boat and snap it down and latch it off when you're done. We have two shore power connections here, 30 amps each. One is for your domestic systems, battery chargers and outlets, and the other is for air conditioning. So you've got uh, full power to do uh, cooling and all of the uh, charging that the boat needs and uh, really nice and tucked away. The cords go out of the way and behind the cleat, which all the cleats are, are really nice. You have a transom shower here as well, which is really nice for when you're doing your swimming and you come off the boat, you want to rinse down, you've got the shower. And so we have this wonderful boarding ladder, easy operation, flip the lid, flip the ladder over, and you still have the space on deck. Into the water, again, pop-up cleat. It's not a trip hazard, it's one of the most flush cleats I've seen, and it's really fantastic. We talked about the dual entrance on the boat. This is a phenomenal uh, door, very easy to lift and turn, and it protects children, pets, whatever you may have on board. You don't have to worry about them when you're running, getting out the back of the boat. It's solid, sturdy. Galleon's known for their stainless steel. They build these doors in-house, really special, uh, nice quality and easy operation. You'll notice that uh, we listen to our customers, right? The American market wants cup holders. So there's cup holders all over the boat. You've got two here. So we have this wonderful sure shade on this boat. It extends all the way out to the end of this platform. 
So no matter what you're doing as far as uh, enjoying the water and the sun, you can get away from the sun on that, that hot day. So the sure shade goes all the way out. I'm not gonna take it all the way out today, but uh, you get the idea. It's a really, really nice cover. It covers the seat or it can go beyond the seat. So the seating here is, is really nice with the seat backs flipped. Now you're, you're enjoying your cockpit area. You're done swimming. You've got your cup holders and your flip down armrests and you've got your barbecue and uh, entertainment platform here. So this is, uh, this is a wonderful space. You've got your grill, Kenyan grill, wonderful products, silicon lid, so that works amazing. You've got the flip up sink, but what's really nice about this is you've got plenty of prep space and you know, you can use the areas around the grill. It's quite a big console and uh, it, it's suited really well for entertaining. I've actually, you know, you can hang out and actually sit on it. So when you have people in here, depending on what you're doing, you've got, uh, you've got a really nice cockpit space and you still, with the flip seats, have a wonderful space out there. Everybody always asks where the garbage can is on the boat. It's, uh, it's true galleon quality. The thing weighs about 15 pounds and uh, it's, it's made to maximize the, the locker and just snaps into these little stainless clips. You've got storage in here. Two shelves. The console's deep, so there, there's plenty of storage there. And then your refrigerator. So you'll notice that just the design and the flooring as you walk through the boat, it's uh, invoking several senses. You're feeling it on your feet, and visually it's, it's quite nice. So um, really pleased with how the flooring came out on this boat. So as you move up to the helm, this is uh, an exciting helm. It really is for uh, a 32 foot boat. I mean, you feel like you're in a, in a much bigger, bigger boat. We've got two 16 inch Raymarine screens. We've got the chart up here. We've got our mercury information feeding in here. Some beautiful lighting. So here's some instrument lighting. So you've got that well lit uh, console and switching panel. You've got your mercury vessel view screen here. Joystick control and throttle control. You also have a tilt helm, which is very nice. So standing, no matter how, uh, how you're standing, if you're back or you're, you're up closer, you can tilt the, the wheel to any angle that you like. And what's really special about this helm is the seating. You look at these seats, the stitching's beautiful. Uh, you've got bolsters that flip up or flip down. The uh, footrests feel like it's a little bit low for my liking, um, so I'd like to be a little bit higher, but uh, it is a galleon, so we thought of that. You push the button, you can raise your view to any level you like, but then the steering wheel's a little bit kind of awkward, so um, we thought of that too, and you just push this button and you raise the steering wheel up. So I'm super, super excited about this feature. It's uh, it's uh, futuristic and I don't know anybody that's doing it. And this is typical Galleon. Let's figure out a solution to a problem. Um, and I think we've executed this one flawlessly. It's really, really exciting to, uh, to drive this boat. And it's really exciting to, to be able to have this level of adjustment in, uh, in a boat, because most boats don't have that. Um, another nice feature here at the helm is you've got an induction phone charger. You've got USB ports as well, up here, down here. Chain counter, I think we talked about that already. So full complement of instruments, everything you'll need, radar, chart plotter, chain counters, engine instrumentation, all your lighting uh, switches, navigation lights, bilge pumps, all of that's here, wiper control. Um, you've got storage up here, which is very nice. To throw things like the wallet. I'm gonna turn on some lighting. This is a, a special part of this boat, this blue accent lighting. So you'll notice it, it goes through out the boat. So as the, the night winds down and you start to, uh, to think about using the, the cabin in the bow, you turn these lights on, your speakers are lit, your headline is lit, toe kicks are lit all the way around the boat, your cup holders are lit. Even this, uh, this moving steering wheel has lighting on it. The, what's really nice also about it is you can take the the blue off and put the white on. So we're gonna take a look down in the cabin and it's a stunning cabin. 
I have a small little flip lever here that locks the door in place. So now you've got a handle on both sides, which is really nice for, for going down. And the, the entrance to this cabin is huge. Uh, a lot of boats in this size range, you've got to duck and tuck to get in. I'm six foot two and I can walk down here st full standing, no problem. So the space is wonderful. You've got your electrical panel here, which you'll see in a second. A very nice large couch. You can seat three, four people easy, five even. Um, and then this whole bed, this whole couch converts to a bed. So this, this piece here lifts out, the table goes down, and it fills this area, but it takes about one minute to do. And then you've got the full depth for a bed with the filler cushion. So, and the filler cushion stores under here, so you don't have to worry about a place to put it. And it's giving you this amazing bed space. Um, we've got a TV on the wall. When you come in, we'll see that in the details. The table has these flip out arms. So you get some extra room around it when you're seated for dining. And uh, I think the finish is amazing. The materials, they feel nice. The, the softness of, uh, of even these fiberglass parts, they're, they're painted with a, um, with a soft sort of a paint. It's a, it's a matte finish, so it's not shiny and cold feeling. This is a carbon fiber looking vinyl. Very, very nice, easy to clean. You've got some stunning details. This is what we call our beechwood gray finish. And, uh, you know, we've put some aluminum lines in the, in the cabinetry and uh, all the way around. You've got storage here. This can be a microwave. And uh, the first boat, we've just done storage on it. It's uh, full. I'm six foot two, so I've got four or five inches above me here and two inches maybe above me here. So plenty of headroom, six foot five, six foot seven. Uh, this is your head, wonderful uh, head here. I would say best in class. You've got beautiful uh, Corian countertops, full thickness. You've got this beautiful vessel sink, beautiful hardware, soap dispenser, spot for your toothbrushes. You've got natural ventilation. Then you've got an air conditioning vent, which is blowing cold right now and feels really nice. You've got a shower, and I could stand and take a shower in here. I'm just touching my head and, you know, have to bend my shoulders a little bit, but for a 32-foot boat to have six foot of headroom is quite amazing. And you've got an outlet in here as well, GFI outlet for hair dryers or what you, whatever you might need in the bathroom. <clears throat> Of course, the shower curtain pulls around, so it protects this area when you're showering, and then you have shower space. Beautiful detail, that we do this on all the galleons uh, for the US, is this inlaid mirror in the door. It's a full length mirror, it's something that you, know, you don't always get on a, on a boat this size, but it's, it's really, really well executed, and uh, it's absolutely a stunning detail. So the one thing I really love about this cabin 32 foot boat, most of them feel like a cave. And on this boat, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six windows. And then of course your head has a big window in it, which I didn't even point out while we're in there. It's absolutely stunning. This whole console area, your switching panel, you've got your 120 volts air conditioning and distribution. So this is your grill, your water heater, your cabin outlets, your uh, battery chargers, and then all of your 12 volt systems. This is going to give you your shore power or your generator voltage and then your main switch anchor switch. These are main battery cutoff switches. Port engine, starboard engine, bilge pumps showing you that they're active all the time and then your refrigerator in the cockpit. You got your air conditioning controls right here. One is for the, the cabin and the other is for the helm. So got a drawer down here which is really nice. Ooh. Ah, we really screwed that one up, didn't we? You can't really get into that drawer, so uh, let's let's forget that we talked about that. Oh no, wait, we're galleon. We we fixed that. So you've got a flip up stair, which gives you access to this drawer. But not only that, it gives you full access to the aft head or the aft uh, cabin, which is wonderful. 
So you've got wonderful storage. You've got storage all around in this aft cabin. You've got deep cabinets here, here, and then on this side as well. Air conditioning return vent, and then you've got air conditioning supply over here, and then light switches for your accent lighting. You can turn sides only, or back only, or all. You have a nice little filler cushion here that gives you a little more space to uh, just to sit here if you want. Obviously, I'm a little tall to sit in here, but um, you know, kids, this is perfect. And for adults, if you uh, if you get back in here once you're lying down, it's absolutely comfortable. You feel like you're in a high-end hotel room with the way the lighting and the woodwork is done. The main things that you're going to notice when you're down here is is the windows. The accent lighting, the storage, these are themes throughout the boat. The fit and finish and the quality is exceptional. And um, the materials, you know, soft uh, finish on here. It's a matte finish to, to, to soften the feel of it. The, the vinyls here uh, are exquisite. It's got a, every bit of a, of a yacht feel to it. And uh, really excited about it. So we've got the bow area. We're gonna take a walk out here. I'll show you that. And then, uh, We'll get this wrapped up. So again, very, very open, not hitting shoulders or anything like that. You've got good grab handles. You have to make sure you do latch this over or the door will move on you. But once that's latched, you're, you're solid and secure. Grab handles here. And then what's amazing about this whole coop is so easy to open it up. Single lever here. Drops down nice and easy, solid, heavy-duty door. And, uh, oh, I hit my head. Well, now we solved that one too, as you push this up. We don't want you to be hitting your heads, hitting your shoulders, doing any of that when you walk through the boat. So we've got a solution for that. Now it's big, open. You got probably six and a half feet of headroom. And uh, you're, you've got plenty of, of width here to walk unencumbered to the bow. This door, big, heavy, and solid. Simple latch here opens that up. I mean, this is just amazing stuff. We do it in-house. Innovative, really good looking, and it's very, very functional. And as you come up to the bow, you're in a huge bow area, and it's very, very deep. So again, I'm six foot two. When I walk to the side of the boat, I feel very secure. I'm not to get headroom down below, often you have a step here, and to get that, you're, you're at your knees when you're at the bow. Here, we're very, very secure. I'd be comfortable having kids up here, pets, no worries at all. And then you've got a huge seating area. So you could lie out here. We've got a, a filler and a table, so the table can go in. You can dine out here or, and have uh, cocktails or whatever. And then this groove here, the table will take the pole out and drop the table in here and it puts a filler cushion in here and now you've got a king size sunbed it's it's really nice the details again stitching the stitch work uh, very very nice details cup holders we got them armrests we got them there's actually three so you've got another one right here so very very comfortable you got a, a recess up here to hold phones or whatnot and in a deeper recess here. You've got this huge storage area. There's a drain in it with ice and make a big cooler out of it. You could do that because it's gonna drain off. All of our lockers have vents in them so that they'll dry out if you've got lines or, or any of that in there. Another nice storage here to get your drink. So here's your anchor lockers and switches. You've got your locker here, safety line, your switches. And this is neat if you need to see the windlass itself. It's hidden, but it's very accessible. So this vent up here is, uh, looks like a scoop in a race car, but it's also functional. It's providing you natural air ventilation above the helm. So those vents that we looked at from the helm are fed with natural air from there. Really nice detail, really nice feature, and, uh, and it looks cool.
So we're going to head to the back of the boat. We'll talk about a couple different, a couple more features and then wrap things up. We talked about storage down below. Uh, I want to tell you about the storage up here. There's also some electrical contactors for your uh, shore power and generator. So plenty of storage, all ventilated. And um, I'm going to give you a quick look in the, uh, in the generator space, just so you can see a little bit of what, what, what it's like below decks, just to give you an idea of what's down here. So it's a nice space. You can actually get down in here. It's your generator, Fisher Panda. It's a 4KW. Your tanks on this boat are right here. Your batteries are in here. And you actually have some room to get down in here and do some work. Uh, so we like to save the best for last. I think uh, the boat is absolutely stunning and amazing as is. But we've got one last feature to show you that is Hallmark Galleon and has quite honestly changed the industry. This is our beach mode uh, folding balcony. We started it on our 500 fly and uh, now we've got this feature all the way down into the 325 GTO. So it's really exciting. And as we were talking about in the beginning of the walkthrough, the amount of deck space that you have, well, now you've just opened it up and you've got additional space to really enjoy. If you can hang out here, feet in the water, you can put your paddle boards here. You've got a rail here for holding on or, or tying a line and just you know hanging out in the current is, is, is nice to do sometimes in the water. So as you can see, it's a fantastic entertainment platform. It's a fantastic weekender yacht. It's got wonderful spaces between the aft space, the cockpit space, and the bow space. And then you have the whole cabin. So this yacht, this boat really does it all. It's kind of a mini yacht, if you will. And uh, we're really excited about it. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the, the new Galleon 325 GTO. For more information, you can find it on marinemax.com or galleonyachts.us. Thank you again for watching.